Hello, YouTube. Today's April 22nd. We're back out here at the Vermilion River trying to catch some steelhead this morning. The river's dropped in level and the clarity's gone way up, so that's good news. But the bad news is we had a horrible cold snap this last day in Ohio. We dropped about 20 degrees, the water temperatures dropped about 5 or 6 degrees, so hopefully it didn't shut the steelhead off. But we're going to give it a shot this morning and see what we can do. That's a fish. About time it took something. Knew they had to be in here somewhere. Right on the Prince Nymph. A good looking fish. Right into the net. Pretty. Pretty fish. Decent looking female. Alright. Pretty colors. Get it right back here. All right, so this here, tiny little fly is what that steelhead took. Something small like that, the right presentation, right in front of it, I guess, finally took it. I fished this run for probably 30 minutes with the white woolly bugger before this one finally hit. So. Tell you, it is cold out here this morning. I'm starting to get used to the 50 degree weather. Ohio said, nope, back to winter. This is colder than some of the days I fished in January. Nothing makes sense. Welcome to Ohio. There's another one. We're on them now. That did not take long after that first fish. Nice. Nice little male. Alright. Woohoo! Look at that. Pretty. Pretty fish. Gorgeous. That's two trout in about the course of, I don't know, five minutes. All morning, nothing. Finally found where they were at. Got these nice two fish back to back. I retied after that first one. That was like my fourth drift through. Put the white woolly bugger back on with the prince nymph, and he took the white woolly bugger. Beautiful fish. I'll take it. All right, so after retying, that's what it took. Little white woolly bugger with a lot of flash on it. 
I'll see if there's any more in here. That's two out of this one little spot. I don't know if there's gonna be more holding in here or not, so we'll give it a little bit more time. If nothing takes it right away, probably move on to another section of the river here, see if we can find some more. But after such a big temperature drop, I'm super happy with how today's going. I'm, I was surprised that I'm getting on any bites. I was hoping that we would, but when you get that drastic of a temperature swing, especially this late into the steelhead season, you're really banking on there still being a few fish that were just late getting up here and are trying to get to their spawning ground, spawn and get back to the lake as fast as possible. But the water's perfect and clarity. There's a little stain. The height is great. The flow's perfect. Like these are ideal conditions as far as the water's concerned, but the temperature was a big drop. So I guess the conditions are making up for the temperature change. Well, let's see if we can get a couple more out of here. If not, I'm gonna move back down this way, fish this nice little current seam through here, and then maybe go all the way down to the end and fish that deeper section where I caught the female before moving on elsewhere. But so far, I'm real happy with how this morning's going. What do we have here? Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice little stocking trout from this season. Look at that, that is, that's a surprise catch. I didn't know they had stocked them already this year. I know this river gets stocked, but I did not know that they did that this early in, or at this time of year. I thought they waited a little bit more. All right, let's go get this guy back into his spot before. I don't want to handle him too much because he's so small, but look at that. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. That is so cute. He's so small. Pretty fish too. All right, let's go get him back into the river. There he goes. That is so neat. I was not expecting that today. That was a really cool catch. I was not expecting that at all today when I came out here. I had no idea they had stocked them already at this point in the year, and I did not know where they stock them at in this river, so finding them here is pretty cool. I've never done that before. I'm pretty excited about that. I. That's going to be one of my favorite catches for sure this year, or for any steelhead season for that matter. I don't know how common that is, but for me it's a first, so as of right now that's really cool. I don't know if there's a few more in here, but let's keep hitting this run here with the nymph and the wooly bugger and see if we can pull out some more fish. That's a fish. Switched up, put a purple bugger on, a little crystal bugger. Took it right away. Very dark. This fish has been in here a while. Beat up.
trout is just wrapping itself in my line. Shoot. That is a nice one though. Biggest fish of the day. That is a brute. Woo -hoo. This fish is 27 inches. There it goes. Nice fish. Very nice fish. This is why I love the Vermilion River so much. Not as many people fish it as the Rocky, and the fish normally are a lot more willing to cooperate with the flies. If you can find the fish, normally you can catch them. So I really like this place, and it's going really well this morning. That last one was a brute, 27 inches, ended up being the best fish so far today. The third one that I caught, or the, the third adult that I caught off camera was a spawned out female, probably about 24 inches. So this one was the biggest by far. Excellent fish. There it is. Good hit. Knew they'd be over in this. Just gotta keep them away from that tree. That looks like a fresh one. Much brighter than that one that I caught last. That dark one. It's gonna be a little bit tricky in this current to land it. We should be all right though. It's on that purple again. A little bit dirtier water over here for whatever reason than where we were fishing earlier in the shallows. So the purple being on a darker profile really helps out. Got the line and got the fish. Got it. Go back over here to shore. Hold of it real fast for a good picture. Beautiful. Beautiful little fish. Look at that. Back in the net. Take it back over to the current where we caught it. Or at least up there. Alright, right back to here. And this current. Letting the fly swing right through it. Super easy way to fish for steelhead and extremely effective this time of the year. This is about as good as steelhead fishing gets around. Super happy with today. Everything's working out. Fish are cooperating. Temperature starting to warm up a little bit from that cold snap. My hands were freezing. I had to take my gloves off a little bit ago because they, when they get wet, they just hold the water. And, and this 30 degree weather is not what you want to have wet hands all day. But these fish don't really seem to mind that cool down. If anything, it's good for the river right now, this time of year, because it keeps it from getting too warm so they don't run back to the lake. They'll stay in here.
There's another one. Not the tree. Not the tree. All right, good, got him away from the tree. That looked bad for a second. Whew. This fish has some energy. Running straight at my feet. Oh my gosh. It's another fresh one. Making a break for the tree. Come here. There you go, get in that current. Fight the current. Gorgeous fish. They're all so darn pretty. I love the way these fish look. Another pretty fish. gorgeous all right so we're gonna be calling it a day here overall i'd say it was a really successful trip caught a bunch early on caught two fish that i thought i would never catch and that are those stockling steelhead the little babies i don't know i've never got on them before didn't know where they stocked them in these rivers so for some people it's not a big deal for me i think that's really cool the second one i didn't really uh get too much footage of it because as I was bringing it in it had that big leech and I tried to keep it in the water as much as possible but it started twisting and the hook got in the net it turned into a little bit of a mess but the fish it got away just fine I just uh, didn't really get to show you because it took me a while to get the hook out in the net and I didn't want to keep it any longer than I had to at that point but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one